Mary Holman George was a true pioneer in the racing industry, a committed steward of her family's enterprise, and a warm and caring philanthropist. She was also passionately devoted to family, friends, horse racing, the rescuing of animals, and supporting education of the next generation. The stories about Mary are plentiful, as are the memories and smiles she shared with so many along her life's journey. Well, life with Mary George was uh, always interesting, that's for sure. Um, you know, from a very early age, I, I have fond memories of um, first living in Indianapolis and then later living in Terre Haute. Uh, but in between, we lived in Wyoming, which was very interesting and a, and a great place to grow up. My mother was a um, very passionate person things that, that she cared deeply about, she, she pursued with passion. Racing was one of those things. Um, at, at the age of 10 years old, her parents purchased the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It became part of the, the family business. And um, she was enamored by that. From forming a racing team that won the 1957 Midwest Sprint Car title to serving as IMS chairman of the best known racetrack in the world, Mary Holman George was a trailblazer in every sense of the word. She was a very astute observer of the racetrack. This undoubtedly uh, was a result of her, her personal experience as a race team owner earlier in her career. But she was also a lot of fun to be with at the races. She loved spending time at the track. Mary was known for her deep commitment to drivers and their families. Month of May parties made for wonderful reunions, but were also fundraising opportunities for one of Mary's most cherished groups, the athletes and family participants of the Special Olympics. She had a lot of people that she did feel especially fond of and, and did a lot of things to uh, make them feel part of the family and, you know, part of um, her world. And when someone felt they were part of her world, that meant a lot to her. Mary developed a deep love of animals, a passion she enjoyed sharing with students. Mary's gift to us was, first of all, I think characteristic of her as a person. She had some great passions that she lived out through her life, and horses was definitely one of those. By her committing to the School of Equine Studies, she was really demonstrating that passion she had for animals and forever elevating our program. The Holman family was uh, one of the great ph philanthropic families in Indiana. And Mary Holman and Mary George jointly committed to maintaining that history. Here in Terre Haute, she founded Harmony Haven, which is a no-kill shelter. She reached out and rescued greyhound dogs, and she often brought those displaced greyhounds, when maybe they were no longer uh, racing dogs, into her home. I just would like to thank Mary for all she's done for all of us here in the horse racing industry in Indiana. She laid the foundation, the road work, for where the thoroughbred industry is in Indiana right now. Mary's been so uh, generous to Terre Haute and really throughout the community. She never asked for anything in return. She just wanted to help people. She had a great heart. She was a great human being. And at the end of the day, I think that's the best thing you can say about anybody.